Good morning, this is Mike at the Kiln Doctor. I've got a small kiln that I'm working on for a customer. And I thought I'd do just a little short uh, video on uh, kiln sitter. Uh, I gave one earlier uh, this past year, uh, but this one uh, is just a little baby kiln. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, checking the uh, alignment of the rod, the sensing rod. This is for a manual kiln only. Um, the sensing rod uh, is easily to check if you uh, have a little bit of a bend in it or a change in your firing cone. The easiest way is to have a Phillips screwdriver. Take this little guide plate off like so which allows you, uh, you can see there's a slot that goes up and down to keep the alignment of the rod. So if you take this off, you can actually turn this. And if you have your guide key or your alignment key, uh, you place that on your cone supports with the sensing rod going through the center of the key. And this is how you would align your trigger release. So if this is in alignment, this release should just miss the claw. Now to check the rod to see if it's bent, you put the key in and you hold it and you just take this and rotate it and you look at the rod. And if you see a little bit of a wobble or a warp, uh, these rods have a tendency to get a banana bend in them. And uh, when you go to do the adjustment, you're compensating for that bend and it can change the calibration of your cone firing. So if you take this, turn it, look at it, if you see a wobble, if you don't see a wobble, then you're still in alignment, the rod is perfectly fine. So you take your cone or your guide key out. Another thing you want to do is look at your uh, cone supports. Cone supports, if you notice, they have, a, um, they have a long shaft and they have a little short shaft. The long shaft is actually what goes inside of the tube. This customer actually was firing this with the cone supports in the opposite direction in the tube. So that meant that the long end here was sticking into the chamber more, which would change the melting or the alignment of the cone. So to give more stability, the long part goes inside of the tube. So you put those in, you check the, uh, you check the rod, you put your key back in, or your uh, alignment key here, alignment plate. You'll notice on this plate too that this plate can go this way. It's got like a keyhole slot that allows this to move this way. So you want to center that. Again, you put your key back in to align it. And that keeps this centered. And you just check your rod here. Just snug up your screws lightly. Take the key back out, and when you move this up and down, it should move freely, and you look at your rod, it should be centered into the oval part of the tube. If that's centered, everything is in alignment. Uh, you can put your key back in again, make sure you didn't change uh, the calibration. You check the trigger. This plate here should just miss the claw when your key is in place. Uh, another trick, uh, this rod had a lot of melting on it from the cone. So if you take some kiln wash that you would use on your kiln uh, shelves, and you take these plates where the cone sits and where the cone rests underneath the sensing rod, if you just take a little dab of kiln wash and let that dry, 
Uh, that helps prevent the cone from sticking to the metal. It allows it to move freely. That's all you have to do. And then put your key, put them back in the tube. And it's also good to take, it's also good to take a little touch and put on the bottom of the rod. Where the rod sits on top of the cone. If you do that, you only have to do it maybe once or twice a year. Doesn't take much, just a little touch. Uh, and that'll prevent your cone from sticking. It'll, it'll also prevent buildup of a melted cone on the rod. So there you go. The tip of the day. Have a good day. Again, it's Mike Slogger at the Kiln Doctor. We're in Front Row, Virginia. Call us if you have any questions. Email us, mike at thekilndoctor.com or call us 540-636-6016. Thank you. Have a great day.